All right, let's get oh. this get this shit going right oh, away. Oh, look, here he is. Oh, hey, what timing? Well, he's he's on roll twenty, but not in Discord yet. There he is. Uh, Holly is a Genasi, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Water Genasi. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. How do you spell that? Water. 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 W U D D E R. Water. 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 See if we can get our uh read into Discord here. <clears throat> for for <clears throat> for everyone's information, uh Stool has a armor clock AC of one hundred and fifty. That's okay, you can still call him spells. He has <clears throat> he has invasion <laughs> and uh he has 150 uh, legendary reactions. <laughs> Which means he succeeds on the dexterity saving throw. He takes no damage. And he can just choose to succeed 150 times. Resets on a, on a long rest. Nice. There's our druid. <laughs> You can still kill him with exhaustion. Yeah, you're a terrible druid. <laughs> <laughs> well, we we didn't want to leave you behind. Yes, thank you. Sorry, guys. I got off work. I look a little bit further now. So it takes me a bit longer to get home. Okay. Understandable. Welcome, everybody, to Bears of Dragons. The uh, stream where a bunch of us nerdy-ass bears sit around and play Dungeons & Dragons. We play Dungeons and Dragons! Thank you. Oh my god, I just realized. What? <laughs> is a this a stream? Yeah. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> just realized what that was from. I said that. <laughs> we gave a disclaimer? Don't worry. You're fine. No one can see you. <laughs> you can see me? No. No, no nobody can see you. Oh, thank God. <laughs> Rice is averted. My hair, it's a mess. <laughs> Those long, luscious locks. <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, I mean... I mean, you're an elf, right? So, the day always looks wonderful, beautiful for some strange reason. In any case... Uh, what happened last time? <laughs> Well, we got into a little cave-in, and through some exploration, fighting of some ooze, finding an intelligent ooze. I think I got a lot. Um, it was a smart was gelatinous cube. Doop -doop. The name you can pronounce. <laughs> Something like that. Um, we explored this little little cave we found uh, ourselves in. It was getting a little thin. Um, but after fighting off a bunch of ooze, finding some treasure in a well, or a bottom of a fountain, uh, we were able to break our way out back into the, under, uh, into the dark lake. And that is where we left off. And we leveled up. Yeah. The shore was nearby. So you were able to easily swim. Uh, stool hanging on for dear life to someone. Ront. Ront. Ront grab him. Yeah. Okay. And I think we were at the point of... You're in like a 
little inlet from uh, of the Dark Lake. There is an exit tunnel based off of certain directions. It ends up being kind of on the right side of the cavern. Uh, so it's a, it's a small inlet, enough to, to really fit you, and there's only one exit. Unless you count the Dark Lake itself. Which we don't. We, we, uh, we now understand that we can go bathing there and all. But we don't want to tread too much in there. Oh yeah, I almost died last game. <laughs> yeah, because you fell into ooze. Yeah. That was fun. If somebody made rolls, I didn't ask them to make. But you made them, so hey. Oh, where well, you well, you didn't make them. <laughs> <laughs> you rolled. Just trying to play my character. <laughs> I do. Uh, okay. Uh, we're out of the water, right? Yes. Have we rested? Not yet. Okay. Uh, you would say that with the only... Besides the Dark Lake, there's really no other caves besides this exit. You could say it's easily... You could easily keep watch on the lake and that entrance. How uh, hidden the, the pathway of the cave takes... You don't know. But we can take shifts and get a long rest then. So, I imagine us just getting out of the water and uh, I'm still frustrated and stuff. So, I just plop down and go to sleep wherever. Don't even just, examine. You get a sword to go. Uh, <laughs> Anybody want to do anything else before you start taking shifts? I'm just looking flawless since we just got out of the water. You come out back and then with a flip yes, of your hair, hair, you are completely dry and and uh, uh, hair looks amazing. I'm just going to do a little uh, exercise and meditation. And Holly, you look glistening. On point. On fleet. Uh, Air on fleet. I hate that so much. <laughs> I hate that so much. Before I plop, I'll say, <laughs> wake me when Never. we're where I wanted to move. Wake you for a second shift. Got it. That's what I was thinking. Whatever. <laughs> My cat is just staring me down. Does she know you killed a dog? Oh my God. And she approves. That that was an entire game ago, months and months ago. Right. <laughs> I'll never let go. Nope. <laughs> I will I will use that whenever possible. You know. Um all right, so who wants to take as you make camp, who's gonna take first watch? I'll right. take first watch. Oh right. my god! What? Mm -hmm. Where's a uh, little Thanks. bitch? I can't remember his name. Borcat? Oh Hello, Borcat. Yeah, he is currently currently uh, sitting next to you, looking at you very disapprovingly. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> You probably didn't even notice. That's what he's doing for for player knowledge. Yeah. But for yourself, 
you're currently face planted in sand. Yeah. It is quite comfortable. There is some uh, bioluminescent lichen. What's the illumination like? Oh! Yeah. Uh, it is dimly lit with substance that you've been familiar with. It is not the normal lichen, bioluminescent luminescent lichen and fungi. It is an is there a lot of it? Bears wet res. It is, is there... it's, it looks like veins throughout the uh, rock of this cavern. Is there like a lot of it? Give me a perception check. Nah, it looks fine. So it looks similar, but it looks different at the same time. Yeah, it just doesn't doesn't seem like there's a lot of it. But like, but the fungus itself, it like it looks similar to what we've seen before, but slightly different. Well, and the, more of the fact that there's less of it. Oh. It kind of shows up in different forms. Some of it looks like clumps, kind of like bioluminescent luminescent lichen. Um, or, or some sort of fungi in the walls. Uh, sometimes it's sometimes it's just a glistening against the uh, rock. It kind of takes different forms. Okay. Yeah, no one's really ever studied it, but you can you can tell. In this case, it looks like ore veins and just like these lines throughout the rock. Did you say but it was fungi? from your perspective? Eh, it doesn't look like there's much here. It's fine. Okay. I'll leave it be. All right, so who's taking first watch again? I'm sorry. Zyra, I think. Holly. I, oh. I will. Yeah. All right, Holly, uh, roll me a perception check. Are you the one without dark vision? Yes. Okay. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> oh, my. So everything gets past me. Um... <laughs> uh, with that, uh, I'm going to ask you to roll the d20. A d20? Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, to remember. Oh. Oh. Wait, did it not pop up on here? No, it did not. What you can do is click on all to plug it to right here. Uh huh. But it was a four. There it is. Just re roll. Or yeah, I see it. It's in the uh, game log on the D and D Beyond. Okay. I know where to go for next. Okay. Yeah, yeah it was a four. Future reference. Okay. Your you are watching. You just have this dim light because uh, the person you would probably cast light uh, didn't before he passed out on the beach. Uh, you do see that Ront has uh, taken the lip form uh, of uh, Lassiter and brought him over to the wall and uh, sat down and just kind of like has Laster laying on top of him. Just like manhandle him with one hand. <laughs> he, he lifts him up in the back of the shirt and just drags him over. Um, Always starts fanning herself. Seeing someone get abused. 
Uh, little Borkhead is just kind of, kind of watching this whole interaction. She, it, he kind of shakes his head and just pops over and then uh, jumps on top of Lassiter and curls up. Look out into the dark lake. Uh, you can't really see too far. The light seems to be from the veins of Ferris Res is, seems to seems to just be in that that gentle area. Uh, doesn't extend far into the dark lake. Um, and after a moment or two, you do see something coming think- ashore. It is moving really slowly, and it looks like the water itself has just kind of risen up in a cube shape. You see bits and bobs of various bones floating in the air. But uh, being a water genasi, you can kind of see the shimmer of this gelatinous cube. <laughs> um, who's by me? Uh, you would probably recognize it. Uh, yeah, she you saw it last game. Yeah, you would have recognized this as a uh, gelatinous cube that Roderick found. Well, you would re- recognize it as a gelatinous cube. How how it would have gotten here? Mm-hmm. Debatable whether you would know. But it slowly comes ashore. It slowly comes ashore. Okay. Mm-hmm. Um, like, is it like right by me? Uh, I would say it's about twenty feet away from you. Okay. I did missing. Did anything happen with the gelatinous cube, or did nobody touch it last round? No, it just it, it just talked to Roderick. It gave okay. us a mace. Yes. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, I'll go wake up Roderick. I go over to Roderick and I shove him awake. Okay. What, what, what was that? What's going on? Um, I think your friend's here. There's what? a, there's a cube gelatinous cube looking thing out in the water. Loop-a-doop. The what? loop a Sure. Yeah, that, that's his name, loop a He's fine. Loop- he good people. Uh, okay, maybe he wants to talk to you again? Well, uh, alright. Just got to sleep. He's probably just trying to get out of the cave. Well, why don't you go make sure he's okay? <laughs> and then go back to sleep. <laughs> Since you're the one who talked to him. Fine. I'll begrudgingly get up. And head to the water. Just reaching the the shore. Reaching onto the dry land. You see your friend Baba uh, the Gloopagoop or Gloopadoop? Well, you call him Gloopadoop. <laughs> I'm just saying things. I can't Globagool. 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 And, and you hear, Oh, my friend. Oh, this is where you, you wandered off to. God, yeah. The water ra- rose so quickly, and it, I was able to move at least a little bit faster. Yeah, so I really didn't have time to get you out since like to come back and get you due to like the water rapidly rising and most of the people in my party can't like breathe underwater type thing. But oh, I'm glad I totally to see understand. that you made it out. Huh. Interesting. I they seem to have a place to go in these starts. Actually, it's it's like rolling of the sand. It's like 
as he he's always moving over himself. Well, it's it's more of a uh, more like an inchworm, you could say, like extends it's its sends a corner of itself, then pulls itself <laughs> forward. All right, and it heads off into the cave. Have fun traveling. And then I go to uh, it's all, go back to Holly. It's all good. He's he, he's fine. He's just traveling now, and I'm going to bed. Night. 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 B D E G. And the rest of your watch goes without incident. I need you to make me a wisdom saving throw. Wisdom saving? Yep. Uh, that's a medicine check. I mean, a uh, wisdom save. Where's my wisdom? What? Well, uh, what you could do is. There we um, go. Okay. Well, uh, remind me, Holly, uh, how many. What's your uh, sanity score right now? Uh. Level 20. Go to notes, oh, journal, and then click on your character. Yeah, I think uh, Roderick has opened it. I could not see. It's a one. Camera. It's a one. Excellent. Excellent, he says. All right, need you to roll me a D100. D100? Mm hmm. What's oh, up with your rolls? They hate me. <laughs> They're all so low. I mean, the D100 might not be that bad. It's just like, it's a five. Two. Well, six, there's a 1% chance five. he could have gotten a five. All right, roll me a, a D10. You're dead. D10? Mm-hmm. Okay. Oh. You seem to absentmindedly just continue touching things. Just look around it's... and you just kind of see things. You start touching the wall. Wall. Oh. Um, it seems like okay. your hand always has to be touching something. It's not you or your things. We're only here. Uh, just keep touching stuff. Okay. Mm -hmm. As you... Uh, touching, touching. Who wants to take the next watch? Or who, who would you like to wake up to take the next walk, I should say? Oh, uh, I'll wake up Leaf. Take the next watch. Leaf, you feel the touch of a watery hand. Kind of nudge you awake. Leaf. 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 Oh God, Leaf is dead. He's unconscious. He's unconscious. He sleeps through everything. He's a very heavy sleeper. The Leaf wakes up. Okay. Takes it. Takes your watch. You go to lay down to sleep, you're exhausted. Oh. And you see stool nearby, and 
your hand just absentmindedly goes and starts stroking his his mushroom cap. Oh my. You uh, fall asleep, but as you're falling asleep, even though you're kind of so tired, your hand just keeps working. Stroking now. Cool. Mm -hmm. Leaf. Roll me a perception check if you're still there. Hey, uh, mm -hmm. this has nothing to do with, uh, the, well, not, uh, Anyways, uh, how do you change your, um, sex, not sexuality, uh, gender on, um, D&D &D Beyond? What do oh, you mean? it's really just a, some you type in, in a okay. field on the, uh, characteristics. Okay, I'm sorry, go ahead. few hours later, and uh, uh, Roderick, you feel another nudge. And it's Leaf waking you up for a watch. What is it, man? I'm up for a watch? No, no. We already had your watch. Oh. So. No, you're waking okay. up, Roderick. For a watch. Oh. Because he didn't know he was woken up before. <laughs> All right, I'll, I'll I'll do it. Yeah, I'm sorry. Can you take lunch? <laughs> yeah. Uh, as you're going going to sleep, uh, uh, Leaf, uh, roll me a wisdom saving throw. Wisdom saving throw. Mm -hmm. Okay. Is that it? No. Okay. Project, go ahead and roll me a perception check for your watch. Yeah. Everything seems quiet uh, along the Along there, the front, you don't see any anything coming through the cave. Nothing out in the dark lake. Just see a little back and forth. The waves undulating. You cool do thing. see something move in the dark lake. It'd just be a, just in the range of your dark vision. I kind of go t closer to the edge of the shore and maybe even kind of like a little bit in the water and like just duck my head under to try to see what it was. Uh, as, as you get into the water, you, you don't see anything until, until you completely submerge yourself. Or at least merge your head. And just out of range, you see the tip of what looks to be maybe a tentacle. A really large tentacle. That can't be good. Uh, 
Otherwise, your watch passes without incident. Need you roll me a wisdom saving throw. What's your sanity score? Uh, uh, 12. So, modifier 1. Modifier 1. Right, roll me a d100. Almost. So close to a good time. Yeah, I might have to adjust something about that. You suddenly feel a little shaky and you seem to have a little tick in your shoulder. Roll me a d10. Cool. You currently have disadvantage on attack rolls, ability checks, and saving throws for the next 100 hours. Saving oh throws God. involving strength and dexterity. Only on those that involve strength and dexterity? Yeah. Everything else ah. you don't have this. Also, your sanity score goes up by one. That That's going to be great. I love your optimism. <laughs> well, I was, I was thinking of something, but then I, I misunderstood at first. So I'm like, well, my attack rolls use my... I can use my wisdom, so that's fine. I'm like, oh, wait, nope, I misunderstood. Nope, disadvantage on attack rolls, ability checks... And saving throws saving that throws involve strength that and disadvantage. Yeah. Not attack rolls that have strength or disadvantage. Uh, but you, I can still, as long as my arms are out, I can still use my wisdom for strength saving throws. This is actually true. So... And that'll be for 100 hours. Yay. How many days is that? 24, That's at like four. A little over four. 72, 96. Yeah, four hour, four days. Yep, a little over four days. Just a little bit. Like four hours over four days. Yeah. Holly only has hers for for ten hours. So as as you finish during your watch, you probably do notice as you're twitching. Uh, you probably do notice um, Holly hand is still stroking stool. She looks to be completely asleep, though. You would assume that this constant motion, she might not necessarily get a well enough sleep. Also, this twitching, if it doesn't stop, might impede in your sleep. Yay. Watch goes. Wait, Uneventful I... outside that. <laughs> I want to pose this on Lasseter. Does I take Lasseter? You you feel the meaty hand of of Roderick nudging you awake. You also feel the the little footsteps of a uh, known familiar uh, jump off of you. Uh, yes. It 
if you don't need anything, I'll I'll go back to sleep now. No, no, you're going to take a watch now. Oh, oh well, why did you say so? Because I, I got distracted. <laughs> um, might want to get that arm checked out. Um, yeah, yeah. There's something in the lake, too, I saw. It, it stayed there, but I still saw it. <clears throat> uh, well, I'll try not to go next to the lake. Do don't. That's all right. Okay. Good night or good day. I don't know what time it is. Yeah. And I'll start my watch. Oh, hmm. I'll um I'll try my best to get up without waking Bront. Okay. Uh, roll me a dexterity uh, check. Bell. Do you uh, slip and kind of like crash onto Ron? And goes, oh, oh, oh. you okay? Uh, oh, all right. I'm starting my watch. Yeah. Uh, okay. I'm going. He, he just pushes you uh, vertical, uh, and then goes back to sleep. Sh- Little Barkad uh, curls up on his chest. Greater. Okay. Go clo- not close to the shore, but yeah. I'll start my watch. Only a perception check. Mm. Okay. It is eerily quiet. And you have pretty good dark vision. But for some reason, it feels like you can't see as far as you normally see. Burning. Uh, Am I aware of this? You see this kind of glistening sheen appear just at the edge of your vision. I'll adjust my eyes. Blink a little. <clears throat> what? And suddenly it's completely dark. You can't see a thing. Uh. 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 Yeah. Um. I'll yell. Hey guys, I, I, I can't I can't see. Little Borkad, uh, you feel the feet of little Borkad come up to you. No one wakes up, by the way. Or at least you can't tell, because you can't see. And uh, uh all of a sudden there's this glowing gold pseudo dragon on your chest. Just kind of hanging on to your clothes. Clothes looking right at you, but he's glowing. I can see him? Mm Mm-hmm. Can I see anything else around him? He he climbs down and you see him climb down and you, you see your legs and everything. Just, it seems like to be within a few inches of him. I'll and he, cat- he kind of nudges at your hand and you get this thought of light. I'll cast light on my finger. Okay. Your light glows. It feels kind of weird. Never actually cast it on yourself before. Usually something. Whether it's clothing or a weapon or something like that. And you, the light glows, and you can start seeing a little bit more area around you. 
shine bright like a diamond. Draw off my vision. <laughs> you can basically see the see the area that the spell light affects. Everybody seems to still be asleep. This is quite concerning. Uh, I, I know that I can usually see. So, uh, where's Borkat? He's, he's now on the ground looking at you, and he kind of like looks like he, he nods in satisfaction. And he goes back to it. Crap. Okay, I was going to use him just, just now, but... Um... I'll pick up random grain of cast light on it. <laughs> cast light on a grain of sand. <laughs> Just throw it forward. There is a few forward. rocks that are probably in a bigger size if you want to cast it on that. There is a rock that you've been sitting on this whole time. I chose a grain of sand. Okay. A little grain of sand glows with bright light. And I'll throw it ahead of me a little bit. Where, which direction are you throwing it? Forward. Okay, so you throw it. Lands in the dark lake. Oh. You okay. see see this little thing of light. I think to the bottom. It's, which, it's just at the shore, so it goes in. And so you see this glistening of water. Okay. And when you look up from when you look up from the uh, grain of sand that you that you threw into the water, uh, you didn't find. Can I make like a insight check or something, like on myself? Sure. Dude, this was weird. Last time weird things happened, this Ferris Res stuff, you, you look around and you see the, these veins of Ferris Res through the rock. This, this shit was around and people started doing things. Syrah lost her voice while traveling through an area, a area with this stuff. Holly just suddenly stopped moving at all. Roderick started babbling. <laughs> if only I didn't go to sleep. <laughs> um, okay, well, this is making more sense now. Uh, I'll, I'll make a mental note to... Uh, remind everyone to keep an eye out for these for this type of fungi or whatever this stuff counts as yeah you you do as you're looking around at, at this kind of like half panicking because you're like what's this weird shit shit you do notice that roderick is still twitching even though he seems to be sleeping but he also doesn't seem to be sleeping it, this twitching is kind of keeping him awake. But it looks like he's trying, but it, you can tell with your insight, it's not working. And Holly, even though she's fast asleep, is currently stroking stools. Cap. Mushroom cap. I'll, I'll make everyone aware of this uh what about anyone else is anyone else experiencing anything nothing that, that you're I, seeing okay okay oh well, it's a bit late to wake everyone up or a bit early i don't know uh nothing i can do about it now but with we'll some saving throw uh, before that, before I end my rest, not rest, uh, lookout, Watch. Um, yeah, I'll try to, I don't know, scrap some 
stuff into a bag. This this stuff seems like some pretty good hallucinogens. Uh, so you take out you got a dagger or something? I don't just scrape I, this off the wall. Uh, equipment. I do not. Never mind. Not any bladed object or something? Oh, yeah. Uh, I had to borrow someone's dagger that one time. Um, but no, I don't have any okay. blades. So you go and kind of like scratch at it. A little bit does kind of come off into a little pouch that you might have. Have, but mm, it would be really hard to even find it in the pouch right now. It's barely anything. Yeah. No. Oh. I'll, I'll keep that in mind for later. Wisdom saving throw. Mm -hmm. 14. Fuck. Okay, what's your sanity score? Huh? Oh, uh. Shot a blank. It is. I don't think I altered it. Uh, it goes down that I think of it, but. 10? Okay. Yes. Goes up by 1. I need you to roll me a uh, D100. Thirty-three. As you're getting closer to the watch and all this weird things happening, you're trying to scrape scrape off some of that Ferris res. Just you suddenly... The Ferris res. Ferris res. <laughs> you start breathing a little he heavily. Start looking around. And you just run down the cave. <laughs> Roll me a uh, d10. You, you're you're running through through some caves, just kind of looking back and forth, or forth. You get get into a path. You make a turn. You, you start running running down it, just just trying to get away. You got to get away from this. You got to get away away from this. Nine minutes later, you recover yourself. You. Not exactly sure where you are. Uh, maybe you could get back. Roll me a survival check. Can I sense little Borcad? So, uh, with the help of little Borcad, go ahead and roll with advantage. Yeah. You um, you were like, okay, I, I, I took this turn, it was here, and, and you are able to relatively easily navigate your way back. Uh, as you're on your way back, uh, you see little Borkad kind of fluttering in the uh, uh, fluttering in the uh, one of the caverns. And he squawks at you, uh, rolls his eyes, and starts leading you back to everybody else. No, I don't need your judgment. <laughs> oh, I just had an episode. Uh, not required, but you're getting it. <laughs> and as you return to the cavern... Actually, hold on. No, um... As you are returning to the cavern, where everybody else is, uh, everybody starts regaining consciousness. And no one sees Lassiter or Lidborgad. 
<laughs> Do we get a full uh, long rest? Not Roderick or Holly. Do I get a short rest? Yeah, you can say it's a short rest. That's good enough for me. Uh, also, Roderick and Holly would suffer from uh, one level of exhaustion. Tired. And you wake up uh, to your hand petting stool. The well, stool no. like tur turns over to you and, says, and kind of nuzzles against your, your hand. He's enjoying it. As he should. But my arm is tired. Yeah, but you... So you, you, you go to relax your arm and your other arm immediately goes up against the wall and starts stroking it. Well, this might be a problem. And... One level of exhaustion. That mm -hmm. is disadvantage, right? Disadvantage on ability checks. That's it. Okay. Oh. So as long as you don't have to ability check anything, you'll be fine. Cool. Make a dexterity check. And disadvantage. Key, key note, it is not saving throws. It's not attack rolls. Only ability checks. So it's anything you make with your skills or your ability check. Alright, everybody wakes up. Uh, I need everybody who didn't take a watch to roll me a wisdom saving throw, which I think that was just Syrah. Yep. And everybody else. Okay. You love them. Just the people who haven't. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. I can pop out the the rolls. I don't want to do that because I want everybody else to see. Can I pop this out? Nope. Yeah. Did I miss anything? Nope. nope. Okay. Oh, hell. Oh, hell. <laughs> Damn. Which is about to be a god. Okay, let's see what our results are. No, oh, that's good. All right. We need some more rolls. Actually, let me do it this way. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay. The the number sixty five kind of looks like some um two people two people spooning together. So, uh, maybe that's good. I mean, if you want to think that way. Well, uh, Shushard starts battle battling. Anything specific, oh. or just babbling? 
Just babbling. This seems like uh, something that happened to uh, Roderick at one point in time. Uh, Ront starts uh, eating the sand. Uh, let's see who's next. Prince Darendel, your Qui Goth friend, who says he's an elf actually. Um, uh, currently looks a little disoriented. And Elvis hasn't woken up. Uh. Actually, she wakes up, then all of a sudden it falls flat on her face. Two minutes later, she wakes up. Two minutes after that, uh, Ron realizes that he's eating sand and starts spitting everything out. A uh, minute after that, Darendel blinks his eyes and shakes his head. That was strange. <sighs> and about five minutes later, Shushar stops babbling. What would you like to do? Have I made it back to camp? Uh, yeah, you, you, you end up, unless anybody wants an interaction before he makes it back. You wake up and Lassiter's not there. Are we missing someone? Oh, I, I missed one because I was focused on the NPCs. Uh, Syrah, I need you to roll me a, a D100 and let me know what your sanity score was. I was a 2. And then 64. Alright. Did you purposely not do Cyrus? Sarah? Nope, that was... Uh, Sarah? Yes. Oh, okay. Um... Roll me another D100. I'm gonna, if my math is correct, I'm going to get to exhaustion level 98. 5 before this goes away. Alright. Um, all this... You wake up and you can't hear anything. You're completely <laughs> deaf. Roll me a D10. Cool. For the next two days, you won't be able to hear a thing. I think I have a way around that. Yeah, I think mm -hmm. you do too. Wizards. Familiar, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Sova just sits on your shoulder and you just use his senses. Basically. I don't know, is your hearing better? <laughs> uh, I mean, technically, I think so. Is this tick going to keep me up every night? Like, make it so I don't get a full night's rest every night? Uh, I would say I would say you could get used to it. But it'll probably take at least two rests. I'll say, like, if it happens every time, I'm going to get up to, like, Exhaustion 5, so be almost dead. Dead. Well, depending on where you are, you might get to a place where either it can be resolved or... Uh, uh, or 
Or you could wait it out. Get some rest. All right. Lassiter ends up walking back. Everybody's distracted by other things, apparently. Oh, cool. And and Lassiter comes out of the, the exit tunnel. Can I try the, to... The area. Can I try to stealth in as if I was always there? Yeah, roll me a stealth check. Well, that's a restoration won't fix this, will it? Mm, maybe, maybe not. The answer is no. Yeah, because the conditions if it does is blind, deafened, paralyzed, and poisoned. And it doesn't say like do anything for like. Uh, Rod, while he was chewing sands, was mm, where's Lassiter? Where's my page? Then he sees Lassiter trying to sneak in. Uh, he says, oh, there you are. Oh, yeah. Hey, hey what's up? Where'd you go? Uh, uh, I felt like I needed to uh, survey the area, make sure everything was fine. Roll me a deception check. Deception... Lying to your significant other. He crosses his arms. Gives you a uh, very disapproving look. <laughs> um, Little Borkad jumps onto your shoulder, looks at Ron, and, and just rolls his eyes. I, I don't need your... I already said that. Fuck you, Borkat. Uh, I don't know. This, uh, these mushrooms or whatever this stuff is, um, I'm pretty sure it's affecting us. I had a whole episode, uh, a few minutes ago. I, I don't know. I was afraid of something. So I went running away. And now here I am. Does he have sand all over his mouth? Uh, Roger, mm -hmm. you're muted if you're talking. Oh, I was just singing. I was just like, I ran. I ran so far away. Ron uh, looks at you and then all of a sudden just gives you a crushing hug. No. Huh. I didn't think you were this loving. He, he he pulls back, looks at you really close, just like eye to eye, forehead to forehead, and says, just wait until we get to the city. I will. Don't worry. Wink. I do a horrible wink. I can't wink. <laughs> well, a dexterity check for wink. Seven. Yeah, you're yeah, like, you just wink. <laughs> you're the, mm. that really awful version of a wink, like instead of the, it's a the really awful. You ended, up, you, you ended up blinking more than you try winking. You're more you're more capable with one eye that. Than the other, but you're trying to do, use the one that you're not as capable of linking with. Yeah, so, um, how's everyone else? Roger, well, still uh, taking, uh, Holly, if you, you approach him, you'll end up starting to touch Ront, and then Lassiter, and then giving a little pet to the, <laughs> just, just touching, <laughs> touching the little poor cat. Your just hands are you're just really handsy right now. I can't I can't stop touching things. Uh I just lift Borcat and just give him to Holly. Here, touch him. Sacrifice. She she ends up turning around and, and touching whoever's close by. <laughs> we'll take care of that. Um or it will take care of itself. <laughs> 
Hopefully, I'm not sure. I really hope so, because I'm getting really tired. Anyone else? Uh, Leaf, Tyra, got you good. Tight. Uh, God, you guys good? Sarah's not gonna realize she can't hear at first and goes really loudly. Go what? <laughs> Didn't realize nothing came out. <laughs> From the first thing, oh God, you felt your again. vocal cords move. You you know you spoke. You just couldn't hear it. At first, it's like, oh my God, I can't say anything again. Wait, no. Man, is there anything wrong with Leaf? No, uh, you're, you're perfectly fine. What? Go on. Everybody's yeah. doing this weird things, and stool seems fine. Uh, who else succeeded? Uh, Jim Jar seems fine. Sarah seems fine. Everybody else had this weird thing that happened. Just like Eldith, like got up, stretched, and then just face planted in the sand. Oh crap, Eldith! <laughs> oh my! Well, by oh. the time you got back, she was back up, so you didn't see that Lasseter. She she's kind of dusting the sand off and. Just looking confused, a little confused, but he's fine otherwise. And you'll, you'll see, you'll see Syrah kind of like realizing she can't hear. She'll kind of look at at her at her owl silver. So she'll mm. perch on her shoulder and like, oh, there we go, much better. Actually, better than before. Maybe she do this all the time. Okay, you do there. see Syrah's eyes glowing. Just slightly, um, you you uh, you actually uh, realize that this is her looking through, uh, sensing through, so uh, that's what it looks like. All right, well, um, everyone, we need to get out of this area. We are all mo most of us are being affected by the uh, whatever this stuff is called. Uh, um, something. As uh, Lazarus says that, I'm gonna touch it and suck the life out of it because fuck this stuff for making my arm twitch. So you you touch it and try to suck out life energy and nothing happens. <laughs> Bitch. You okay, big guy? I, I, I can't... I can't suck out its life energy. Like, it's resisting me. That's probably not a bad thing. I, I would say you'd well, be able to tell thing. that you, you're not sucking anything because it's not alive. It has no life energy. It's like you can't suck the life energy from a stone. But it's funny it's doing this. That's weird. Right. It's a do fungus you... that's not alive. Do you, hey, you don't know have if it's a fungus? Problem? Then it was. No, it looks <laughs> like one. Oh, it looks like a fungus. Oh, yeah, okay. at times it looks like one. Right now it looks like ore veins. Gotcha, I misunderstood. Do you usually have problems sucking? No. I'm quite proficient at it. Noted. Welcome to a D&D &D game with a with bunch game. of gay men. <laughs> uh, but yeah, anyways, we need to leave. Yeah. This stuff is not good for our health. Says the guy that just tried collecting some. Let's, let's make haste out of here. <laughs> yeah, let's go. Daddle. Sorry, we cast taste. <laughs> what? You're like, let's make haste out of here so you cast taste. Don't cut me. <laughs> I've already been supposed to for ace once today. <laughs> no, that that was just a bad D and D dad joke. <laughs> it's 
Suddenly, I take two levels in sorcerer, so I can twin cast. Get you in stool out of there. <laughs> Anyways, moving on. You all start on your trip. Yeah. All right. Keeping the dark lake to your right as you travel through caverns and knowing where where the general direction is, merging occasionally on on various beaches of the dark lake. Still touching everything. Yeah, Holly's just touching whatever she can. Uh, She sometimes touches just when no one's within range, just kind of like in an open area where she can't touch anything, she starts like stroking your face. Just keep your hands out of the water. Just moving her hands around her body. (laughs) Maybe even wringing your hands a lot. A couple hours later, Holly... You're wringing your hands, and then you realize you don't want to, so you stop. And just go look. All right. You, 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 you don't have that compulsion anymore. Meanwhile, Roderick is still twitching. We should get you a cat. Maybe that would help. Like, break, brace your arm against your body. Yeah. Matter of fact, does anyone have any rope? You can try. I do. No, I was just trying to help, big guy. I'm sorry. I might. Have a spell. Uh, he he doesn't he doesn't want any help, so it, it's fine. No, you're not gonna tie me up with the rope. I was just gonna what tie your arm to your uh like body. You know, not gonna do it. It's just a little twitch, kind of like a constant muscle spasm. You don't want to get and no. t- it pauses on occasion, but it just suddenly twitch. Yeah, no, some weed? no entangle. I either. I've been dying to use this spell. <laughs> I'll let you know when you can use it. <laughs> Fine. Hmm. Right. I need somebody to roll me a d20. I got it. Oh. Oh, never mind. Mm-hmm. All right. Wait. You, uh, as you go through the tunnels, very about just a couple minutes after the cavern that you had had uh, rested in uh, the veins of Ferris Rise seems to have dis- dissipated and now you're in just a dark tunnel there is absolutely no light I'll light a torch oh uh um whomever had it uh that there's there's a mace that lights up. Like yeah, Robert has fire. That, I think. Yeah. Maybe someone with out dark vision could use that. I like my axe. Would, would you like a mace torch? No. no. Alright. I mean, you don't have to use that as a weapon, but you could have it. Shh. Sure, um, I will. Oh, okay. No, I'm fine. Unless you want it. Oh, um, no. I have dark vision. I was thinking of. Uh, I mean, I I would use it because it's a mace, and I'm proficient with maces or whatever. Oh, it's a simple weapon. I don't know. But um, 
Uh, oh, it's a simple weapon, so it's not good enough for you. Uh, um, but I can cast light on your hammer or whatever you use. I don't, I don't know what you use. My axe. Or your axe. That's Remember, we've I... had this joke before. <laughs> Where you you cast light on her axe, and I didn't say ass, I said axe. Which Just remember the joke. <laughs> Holly does not consent. <laughs> <laughs> You'll stop traffic. I'm I cast axe now. <laughs> I cast light on her axe. Holly, or instead of using a torch, uh, Lasser lights up your axe. This happened Wait. has happened several times before, so you're familiar with it. You get to a dark place, you basically pull out your axe and and just like. Pointed at Lasseter, who then touches <laughs> touches it and do it. the side of it, and <laughs> it starts glowing with light. And you just you can use that. You use your axe as a torch. Thank you. My ass burns with a glowing power. <laughs> can I only have one light up at once? Uh, I believe so. Yeah. I believe it only lasts for a certain period of time, so you have to like, refresh Ooh. it, but. The the color is aqua blue. Oh, it I like matches that. Holly's hair. <laughs> Good news. She says thank you. Thank you. No problem. Continue. Continue. Need uh, survival checks. Get one from Eldith because she's got some proficiency in survival. God. Yikes. The, oh, the caves that you uh, traveled through um, are pretty open. And are are pretty large. They're not necessarily the cavernous thing like where the beach episode was, but they are very very big, big as you travel through. Just very very dark as well. Um, only lit by the light of all these ask x x. Trying to pronounce that correctly or. Uh, Enunciate correctly so that nobody thinks I say something else. Uh, you are able to find a uh, Eldith and Syrah uh, do spot a nice little alcove that can be pretty hidden and pretty safe. That has enough space for everybody to rest. It's a little tighter than you would anybody would like. It still kind of have to to. Uh, sleep very close to each other, but otherwise, there is still plenty of room. Is there any insane veins around? Mm -hmm. This looks like solid rock to you. Cool. Uh, so, this seems like a good place. Be better than, uh, what's out there i guess um hmm. at some point i'd like to talk to roderick if possible sure. uh don't you have uh under common lessons yep. oh yeah i got all about that You're still doing that But I can take first watch if if no one else wants to. I'll give you your lessons. Um. 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 This is a 
bit of a hard topic. Um, but, uh, notice that you kind of need to eat, um, <laughs> as you say, and you haven't been able to lately. Well, I've um, been able to, it's just for that one thing, because I, 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 I was irritated and didn't realize what it was, and so I I've been I've been able to consume what I need to to survive. This means death. A L L. It means death. He's he's trying to teach you under common still. Whoa, <laughs> We're, we got lessons. <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> player didn't realize what he was doing. Laster probably did. <laughs> this means fear or feared. I'm literally looking up a wiki on for the Forgotten Realms for Uncommon Dictionary. Good on you. <laughs> First word, death. Like, just <laughs> knock it off. <laughs> Um, pretty much, uh, if you ever need, you know, subsidence, um, you, you seem like a pretty valuable member of our party at the moment, so I'd hate to lose you. I, I appreciate that. I try not to consume from humans unless they're douchebags, um, like at what I did might have done at, uh, Velden, uh, but I'll try. This means devour. What was the second one? Bear? Fear. Bear. Fear. Fear. Like, you're afraid of me. You fear me. So, death, fear, and devour. Roderick, for okay. some reason, is picking very appropriate words this one might intrigue you this means arcane okay uh, I'm actually gonna write this down is that a l a l death Luigi. You'll get you get you get your education on right now. Everyone's taking notes. <laughs> um, Marlin. Anybody would would anybody else like to do anything else uh, before you go? Bed. No, not me. Not me. All right. Lasher stays up. Ron kind of looks unhappy for some reason. He kind of scratches his crotch. Right, gives you a wink. And then closes his eyes. And starts snoring. Fair enough. As Laster stays up for for the first watch. Go ahead and uh, give me a perception check. Someone's got to do it. What are these rolls? What? What would you do mm -hmm. for a Klondike bar? Depends on the flavor. Flavor. 
Yeah, Klondike bars. Klondike. I don't think I've seen those. They are watch scenes to go by uneventfully. That's good. Uh, I'll take the next I watch. Will... Oh, okay. Yeah, sure. I'll wake Leaf up. Last <laughs> uh, our hands off the to Leaf. Watch went pretty good. Um, I didn't notice anything. That doesn't mean nothing's out there, of course. But yeah. All uh, right. Be safe. All right. Noted. I will we'll keep us safe. Up. Snuggle up with uh, Ron. Have fun. <laughs> Alright, Lee, throw me a perception check. Alrighty. Perception. As you're looking out into the, uh, the halls, you do notice uh, something coming down the hall very, very slowly. Can I thorn whip it? <laughs> yeah, you can go ahead and uh, try to attack it. Did I hit the right one or no? Okay. And you hit it. Go ahead and roll damage. It seems to, to react and it, it it shakes violently. It looks like some sort of fungus. Hard to tell the coloring because it's dark. Uh, and you're using your dark vision, which isn't necessarily very good with color. But it uh, seems to be this... Some sort of fungus with a bulbish top and so some sort of tentacles coming off of it. Ew. It's Bulbasaur. That's there. <laughs> I wasn't thinking more of a tentacle. <laughs> But I guess if it has a boat singing, you're right. Can I make, like, a loud commotion to let everyone know? Yeah, you can wake, every wake people up. What What's mm -hmm. going on? There's some yeah. disgusting thing coming to us with tentacles, and it looks like a fungus-looking thing. Well, well... That 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 is that is something. Hmm. Oh man. Yeah. So we'll have reposition everybody around here. Leaf is probably up here. Yeah. I to my PJs. Yeah, I'm going to Oh, we brought a friend. <laughs> oh, great. I don't like where this is going. And with that, having attacked 
Here it was. Roll initiative. Oh. <laughs> That's great. Oh, no. This I doesn't do anything. How do you get a negative four? What is like? What the? He it, it rolled a one, and its initiative is minus five. Holy we're, shit! We're it's not Dex. Fighting this it's Dex is a one? <laughs> it's Dex is a one. Holy shit! It's not very, very dexterous. <laughs> no, it's not dexterous. It's not, it's not, it's not very, it's not. <laughs> like, there's nothing. It is, uh, excuse me. It is very not dexterous. <laughs> very, very, very not dexterous. I guess I say it's 9.12. Yeah, it's a a uh, tiebreaker modifier. Because right. three of us. So, everybody who uh, uh, woke up, uh, Holly might, I don't know if Holly, you want to just like be really tired because you didn't really sleep or from you got your exhaustion for last night but up to you what you want to do oh uh, I, I think uh Roderick is helping her roll initiative well I rolled but it didn't take my token oh okay so he told me okay. to click the token and then re-roll my initiative you do it that way too. There we go. Did it work that time? Yeah. Okay. Well, I also added yeah. your turn, so. Let's see. We have everybody on here. Leaf, did you roll? Yeah, you rolled a nine. Mm -hmm. Okay. Good turn. <gasps> Zero. Oh. All right. So, Ollie, what's your dex mod? Uh, two. Plus two. Holly okay. goes first. Okay. And Leaf, what's your dex mod? My dex is... Oh, that's a very good question. Let me see if I can find it. <laughs> Plus four? Plus four. All right. Here Leaf are. goes first. And... Then I'll help, out, help out with this. Because... Let's see. That's good. And his didn't apply for some reason. It's okay. It's a 12. All right. The rest are kind of hiding in the back. Ront is still asleep. All right. Gage goes first. Double check some. He's going to come up here oh. and he's going to bonus action to manifest Echo. Echo, Echo. And he's going to attack this one. times mm. yep, that's it. and he slices this, this one apart <laughs> yeah this is probably going to be a very quick encounter we're not supposed to be fighting these things. <laughs> As a bonus. Oh, uh, no, he can't do that this round. All right, Roderick. All righty. Let's see. All right. 
Get right up to there. Gonna manifest my arms and my new uh, vestige. So as you see, as I summon my arms now, um, the arms that use they used to kind of hover outside my arms. They are now encasing them. And then a full like dragon's head comes out, and then like over my head, kind of like a helmet type thing, but it's a full dragon's head. Nice. But but pretty much at one point, Cubby's <laughs> just like. Go, go, Power Rangers! And then I'm gonna go ahead and... Attack this one. And, I'll hit. Okay. Uh, force. Yeah. Uh, why were you rolling at disadvantage? Because of my exo uh, because of my uh, um madness. Oh, because of your madness. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And then attack again. Yeah. As you go to make your uh, gonna, second attack, um, you twitch. Spin two. I'm actually going to uh, focus aim, spend two key to bump it up four to make it a 13. Okay, still a natural one. So as you, you twitch, you swing your fist, and for some reason it goes wide. I still count natural ones as natural ones. Okay. Sorry. So then, that's all I got. Right. Leaf. Yes. Your turn. I am... You still look like you did pretty good damage on the fir uh, on your first strike. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna move right here, and then I think both my attacks go up to 30 feet. Yeah. So... I'm gonna use my thorn weapon <laughs> Okay. Yeah. And then I to hit the other one, and then um, can I use my um my bonus action as well, which is yep, casting stone. Yep, go ahead and roll damage on the throne throne rope. Oh, crap! Uh, had it all a little bit ago. What happened? There it is. Weak. Hey, damage is damage. Hit with the magic stone. Four five. Yeah, <laughs> uh, it looks to be in tatters, but it still seems to be moving. Gross. Oh. You hear a commotion uh, down in the hall. For the seats. Are they five feet squares? Yep. And you can't share a space with somebody, right? Yeah, the for friendly creatures you can you can pass through them through their square. The hostile creatures you can't. Unless they're dead. Then you can go. Sorry. Through. I can get up to here. Perfect. And then um, I'm going to 
uh, just swing with my great axe on the monster. Okay. Uh, action. Great axe. Okay, and then damage. Yep. Right? Yep. Mm -hmm. And you slice it in two. Aha. And the counter's over. Do 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 do. Congratulations, you killed fungus. Do 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 do. Well, that was exciting. I'm going back to bed. <laughs> <laughs> um, agreed. Which, as you uh, return to your rest, the rest of your watch leaf goes without incident. You could intuit that how slow they were moving. It is possible that with his dark vision, he Laster probably could have seen those coming, but for some reason didn't. Right. Who wants to take the next one? Or Lee, who do you want to wake up for the next watch? Mini, 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 mo. Mm. Thyra? That my, how do you say your name? Thyra? Sarah? Sarah. Sarah, Sarah you, you feel a nudge. You don't hear anything, but you feel a nudge. Oh. Uh, hey. I feel a little nudge, and Silva kind of peck me like, hey. <laughs> yeah, like pecks you being like, hey, do you want to hear? <laughs> <laughs> oh, literally, she's doing the hey, listen. <laughs> yeah. I think I'm the, uh, I think I'm the one you want to mess with, and I spin a wood chisel and I use it to unlatch my leather harness and take my shirt and my tools off. So now, I'm... yeah. <laughs> What was that? Oh, uh, watching a clip of something. Okay. <laughs> like what? You got to mute. So you wake up, uh, Sarah. You send Sova off. <laughs> you do your watch from where you were slowing down. Yes, yes. <laughs> Be a dear, Sova. So it goes, take your watch. <laughs> One, two, yeah. 19. All right. All right. So those watch goes without incident. Uh, you get the mental feeling that everything was fine. And basically, you get the feeling Sova's basically asking, you want me to wake anybody else up? <laughs> I'll wave her hand towards, uh, towards Hallie. Yeah, over there. <laughs> Let's go back to sleep. Sova so, so, so flutters over, over to Holly and starts pecking at your shoulder. <laughs> Hello? <laughs> Ooh. He, mm -hmm. and he, he kind of looks towards the entrance. Oh, okay. All right. She gets up and heads towards the entrance. And no one's there, so you, you can intuit that the uh, owl was keeping watch and has now woken you up to keep watch. <laughs> awesome. Cyrus. is dead asleep she needs her beauty rest i need to work in an owl okay go ahead and roll me a perception check for your watch you do feel rested now you're you have uh, i would this would be your 
essentially your end of your long rest, so you can remove your exhaustion. All right. So you can roll, do a straight perception roll. Okay, cool. Wee. And your watch goes without incident. Just dark, dark caves. You're looking around being like, why did they have me do the watch? I can barely see a thing. You have a, even if you borrowed the, the, uh, light imbuing, uh, okay. or, uh, uh, mace as a torch, nothing happens. Okay. And everybody regains consciousness. Roderick, roll me a constitution save. All right. You, despite the twitching, you've gotten used to the twitching that you actually got a good rest. Yay. You remove that exhaustion. Anything you would like to do in the morning before you set off? Sleep in. Um, did I notice the commotion last night? Um, roll me a perception check with disadvantage. I'm stuck on a screen. Okay. Disadvantage? Yeah. Because you're sleeping. Uh, you noticed, but you, but you felt that you didn't, you weren't needed. <laughs> You're slash slash. Uh, ah, uh, slash. Uh, and and then after like less than a minute, everything stopped, and everybody's like, oh, "That was nothing." <laughs> um. So what was what was that with last night? Oh, you know, just a few pieces of fungus. Like, just mushrooms? I think Leaf was on watch. She could tell you more. Okay, uh, Leaf? Yes. Um, y'all had a mushroom problem last night? Yes, they were disgusting. They had tentacles, and they looked gross. But we killed them all. As you walk out of the cave, you do see the the corpses, the remains of these things. I think so they're gross. Are... Oh, those, those, are, those are pretty. Pretty disgusting. What... Look at all those holes. When you say that they were gross and disgusting, she'll cover stool's ears? Question mark. <laughs> just gonna hold her hands over its <laughs> no. oh, no. stool looks up to you oh. and just kind of gives you this like what are you doing? <laughs> yeah, I you, was so you're the cutest mushroom fungus thing I've ever seen. I was wondering uh are, are these related to stool in any way? I hope not. I'll there's actually... there's this there's this huge burst of spores that go out through the room that for some reason, everybody just instinctively inhales and you hear in the mind, they are nothing like us. They're violet. I think they're gross. Obviously. Yeah, they are gross. And he just crosses his arms and well, what's the difference between you and them? Ooh. They're bad fungi. <laughs> and we're like sentient. Like they're they don't even you uh, want to use this word. They're not smart at all. <laughs> well, I'm sorry. I'll uh, try to find the difference between you and other mushrooms before I speak about such a thing. What's the the difference between you and any other animal? <laughs> we look different. Just because they're 
they're fungus based doesn't mean that they have any relation to to us myconids. Oomph. That's fair. Okay. And this is all you hear from the head. You did, you don't. You, I suppose you might have hear, heard like a a puff of air like come th- through some of his what you would assume to be uh, some sort of breathing apparatus. Orifice. Uh. Well, <laughs> I guess uh, you wouldn't mind me cutting them up real quick. He, he, he shakes his head. That's no, fine. Okay. Uh, can I borrow someone's dagger, please? It's starting to look like he As I was gonna say, I, I have a short sword that I'm not using. Ooh, I'll take that. And you, do you do you want it? Like, have you seen me use it? No. Great. He's just. You now have a short sword. Awesome. Sword, sword. Is it a simple weapon? Or is it a martial? Uh, it's martial. It's martial. Fuck. Whatever. <laughs> I'll still use you're, it. You're just not proficient with it. Yeah. Hey, what do you need the dagger for? Do you need to just chop it up or something? Oh my god, I have a rot. Um. <laughs> yeah. No, uh, no, 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 no. <laughs> Ron no, has no, a no, lassiter. No. <laughs> yeah. Or Let's get this right. Ron has a lassiter. <laughs> okay, well, um. I'll I'll keep the sword, but uh, hey, Ron, are you you feel like cutting stuff up? Sure, he brings out his great axe. Fuck yeah! So he starts I'll... chopping it up. Last year, I got a little bit of a hard on going right now. Uh, pretty much, I just want to uh take little samples. Uh, of the nasty mushroom. I mean, yeah. same thing. I mean, they're they're fun guy, and I've I've been around a lot of fun guy lately. I don't think they're drugs. Doesn't matter. I don't know that. Like, like, do you need this chopped up into little tiny pieces, or do you need big chunks, or what do you want? Uh, let, let's do little little pieces. Okay. Your so he he goes ah and starts hacking away at it and he's just chopping 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 he he looks like have you uh, what what are those places called uh those one those places where they've got the chef at the grill and he's basically got two metal spa- spatulas and they're going hibachi that's it just still like a hibachi chef except with one big giant axe. And um, looking at the pieces that that end up of this violet fungus, uh, you could probably wrap that in a beef tenderloin and make beef Wellington. Um, oh, maybe these could work as some type of breakfast one day. I don't know. <laughs> he grabs the short sword and he does this thing where he's like going. Uh, you know what? I just noticed I don't really have anything to hold stuff in. Oh, but I, do you notice? I guess what I just noticed I have a hard on right now. I mean, I have a backpack. Can, can I put some of this stuff into my backpack? Yeah, I will. I will say there's like you probably have a small supply of of pouches. I'm not going to take this away from you. Okay. You have something that you could easily put put this in. Um. Okay. I'll make another custom item. Just have a whole bunch of custom items. I mean, you could put. 
I put things in other possessions at oh, the bottom yeah. where you can just type it in. <laughs> what do I type? Cut up pieces of monster fungi? Violet fungus parts or pieces. Oh, shit. I didn't need to do that. <laughs> you could say <laughs> you have you have duck cell. <laughs> Violet. Violet. Uh, Violet fungus. Fungus. Okay. Nice. Thank you, Ron. And I'll uh, uh, just pat him on the the, the chest. He gives you a slap in the ass. <laughs> you get another um, orcish wink. I'm not gonna attempt to wink. We're just gonna smile back. Anything uh, else anybody would like to do before you head off? No, nope. I'm good. Same. All right. Holly, roll me a d20. Uh, you start getting to a bunch of narrow passages as you pass through. Uh, you do end up with some uh, narrow cliffside. You, you end up going a little bit higher. Um, and you come to kind of a cliffside. Um, There's enough space that you can travel single file uh, without having to worry too much about slipping off into the dark lake. What's nearby? You can travel through some, some more caverns. You start getting towards a uh, much more open area. And you can hear some uh, noises and see a red glow coming from the end of one of the tunnels. Um, did anybody else see the red glow? Um, you are the first to see it, but as you continue down the passageway, as in essence, there kind of is no other way to go, uh, people will gradually see it as the tunnel starts opening up and becoming wider until you get into a large cavern and you see a city. Oh. Finally! We're here. You see I... um, smoke from various chimneys, a uh, bustling harbor uh, into the dark lake, and just a little bit further is the city of Gracklestug, and this is a great place to actually end it. We'll pick up actually entering into Greckles too. Yeah, there's like a half hour left, but uh let's let let me actually we, we do have enough time to, to at least get get you guys to an interview. Look so you're kind of on a on a path that's kind of like higher on a on a cliff. You kind of have to do like a meandering path down to get closer to the city. There's still a distance away, but you can clearly see the city. Ahead. Uh, a stool, is that it? Puff. Yep. And, and uh, you hear in your head, head. But I, I've never been here before. Oh. Wait, I thought this was 
Stool's home. No, Neverlight Grove is Stool's home. We this is our stop before, like we're stopping here and then going there. Oh, no. final spot. Okay. <laughs> I I always thought this was okay. Cool. But anyways, um, cool. <laughs> uh What are we waiting for? Let's go. Uh, Eldith, Eldith will uh, comment. Uh, we better not go through the main gates. Uh, they're not necessarily for visitors. We'll want to enter through through the Dark Lake District. And she kind of points to a gate that uh, is closer to the harbor. Oh, that sounds good enough. Yep. Good thing you were over there. Wait, so we're out of the confined space? Yep. No. But you're in a cavern that's filled with yeah. smoke and uh, uh, has, is, has a hellish red glow and with patches of darkness <laughs> here and there. You do hear the loud clanging and cracking of hammers and machinery. Echoes constantly throughout the city. Oh, civilization. I hope they have real food here. If I had one more berry, I can go insane. <laughs> you want a berry? <laughs> Literally, like, pushes off your hand, like, no! Uh -huh. Never again. <laughs> Just slaps it out of your, her hand. It's been the berries that's been making us insane this whole time. It's a leaf. Oh no. BBEG. <laughs> uh, does anyone know their way around? Not a dang thing. But that merchant did give us the location of where the brother's store was, right? Yeah, let's let's worry about that. Uh, I believe he only told you the name of your bro his brother's store. All right, I'll go up to the nearest person and an undercommon um ask if they can help us out. I'm looking for a place. There's a map. Guessing this is the gate we're going through. Yep. Which one? This one. Up in the upper right. Oh. Oh, it's because my map is all the way up. Let me zoom in. Is there a. Oh, well, this place is interesting. It is rather large. You enter, it, like you it. arrive at the gate, and you see some door, uh, some Durgar, uh standing uh, standing by. And says, "What's your business?" They Just kind of like give it, give a uh, their eyes kind of kind of uh, squint as they give it kind of a evil look at the dwarf that is with you that is not eldest. Uh, just a band of travelers uh, going through, coming here for trade. Uh, roll me a persuasion check. You kind of like rattle Have you ever been here before? No, actually. Um, that and I was actually wondering if you can help us f locate this store. Um, we were petitioned by one of the uh, the br the owner's brother to go do some stuff, and we have some goods to give them. What's what's the name of the store? And you you, you give him the Next name and pause it, and he says. Uh, it's down in the markets of, of the Dark Lake District, which is a good thing, because unless otherwise authorized, 
You are not to leave the Dark Lake District unless leaving Crackle Stug itself. You hear? Noted. I will let my band <laughs> I, uh, friends know. Charming. Noted. Uh, are they what what language are they speaking? Um, Depending on if everyone uh, understands or not. Uh, common? I, I'm going to say they're speaking under common. Need that. So I will exposit everything to everyone else to what the guard says. So mm. don't go over here or something? This, like, don't go past these, this area. Oh. You see where it's, like, walled off? Oh, okay. I didn't notice, um, like, these. The ball. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, we just need to stay in the, this, like. Yeah, those, those white ones are, are gates. Yeah, I was gonna say, why not just go down here and go around the wall? <laughs> But, um, yeah, I see the brown walls now. Yeah, so. Okay. I exposit where, uh, um, also turning to the guard, uh, where would a good place to, sp like, rest would be at? Like an inn or somewhere? Possibly a tavern? A good question. Uh, oh, no. uh the Arm and Hammer. Yeah, Arm and Hammer. All right. Yeah, it's uh, just off of the markets. All right. Thank you so much. The lady bazaar. <laughs> um, I'm going to turn to Syra and hand her like a hundred gold and tell her to uh just look be like, why don't you all go? to this air this town or tavern or inn um get us some rooms here's some gold for this i'm gonna go to the store and give out all the stuff that we're supposed to for the one um merchant so like give a your nod and well i was just saying that sounds like a, like a wonderful idea well, the only issue is if everyone speaks under common, I don't. Oh, she was just I telling. I'm pretty sure I'm the only one, but don't you also have comprehend languages? That lets yeah. me understand it. Yeah, it doesn't it. let her speak it. You need tongues yeah. for that, I think. Okay. Yeah. So then I will take everyone there. And we'll look for rooms. Uh, Eldith comments, you do know that... That they do speak Dwarvish here, too, right? No idea. They, do you speak the daughter got to speak, speak Dwarvish. So you can help yeah, them. They're sometimes them. referred to as Dark Dwarves. I wonder why they call them that. Well, it's considering no. Duragar have very dark skin and they live in the Underdark. Dot, dot, dot. Okay, I'm going, uh, so Eldith, would you please show them to the inn? Ah, it'd be nice to have a good bed, even if they're in the crappy place like <coughs> this. It is very smoky and hazy in this area. Uh, I will be back momentarily as soon as I get all our obligations taken care of. Take your time. He says that in a Roderick sort of accent. Yes. All right. So, Eldith, Eldith and company uh, head towards. Uh, as you're all basically going in the same direction, uh, you do find the um, inn nearby, uh, inn and tavern, the Arm and Hammer, because that was the first thing that came to my head, and are easily able to locate it. Uh, brooms are relatively inexpensive, uh, only about five, five silver each. So you can all get a private room if you would like, considering you have plenty of gold. One, two, yes. three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Do you keep in mind, Ront and Lasker are probably sharing a room. Yep, I already assumed that. So 11 rooms, 
So that's 110 silver piece. So one gold and 10 silver. Right? Yeah. Sure. Cyber, Cyber requests the room furthest away from Ron's. <laughs> <laughs> he, he shows you into the, to this block of rooms. Rooms. Uh, uh, and uh, it gives you the keys for, for all the rooms. Uh, Stool actually requests to... Uh, to, that he he be with somebody. He actually uh, says, "Can I be with Roderick?" That's fine by me. That actually saves us some gold, some uh, money. That is actually gives us ten silver. I don't want to sleep alone. Um, hell, why not? Um, we got plenty of this. So then I turn to our PCs. And one, two, three, four. Give you each 400 gold. Um, if you, for whatever. So for. You're including Gage in that, right? So, okay, then no. Well, we can change. Yeah, so. Gage, Pat, Holly, Leaf, Thyra, and Lassiter, 400 gold. Yay. So we each have, we each have 400 gold? Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, do we have our keys? Yep, you have your keys. Ront actually steals, snatches the key before you do it, Lassiter, and and uh, grabs a hold of your shirt and starts pulling you up the stairs. Whatever. <laughs> uh, uh, Holly takes a key and goes into the room next to them. And be like, and she's just like, I don't see what the big deal is, and just goes into her room. Cyra was probably the first one to select, or, or the second one, probably selects the the key, a key, right after Ron snatches up the, the key that he takes. Like, and nope, mine. Just to make sure he gets the right nope. room that's as far away from from Ron. She's like, nope, 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 nope. <laughs> Uh, Jim Jar uh, grabs the key and says, "Yeah, this is, might be a great place." And he actually goes and uh, goes up to the bar, orders a drink, and uh, goes to a, a place where there's there's a uh, another deep now. Uh, because uh, I have trouble saying Smurf Neblin. Smurf Neblin, something like that. Uh, a um, a uh, elf, not a dark elf, but an elf. Uh, and a dragonborn are currently playing cards. He grabs a chair and he seems to, to inquire about joining in their game. Shushar uh, takes a key and goes up to his room. Feels and pretty much the rest do the same. Shushar is about to make bank. Maybe. Depends on how he does in his roles. Which I'm gonna also, do I'm heading thing. towards um, the merchant's stall. Uh, you're able to easily look at it because the the uh, guy who was who's there, who I can never remember his name, Rashad or something like that, uh, looks very much like his brother. He says, "Ah, welcome. What can I do for you?" Hi there. Um, we are actually uh, while traveling here, uh, met up with your brother, and <laughs> in return for um, an item or so. We were uh, tasked at uh, clearing out a dungeon, like a little temple type thing that people oh. were not coming from. 
Um, and we were supposed to give you the item. Like, we were able to keep the gold, he said, but... Yes, 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 yes. I know exactly what he's referring to. What did you find? What did you find? Um... I can't believe we found some dimwits to do it. I mean, uh, some adventurers to do it. Wow. I actually do more damage with the short sword than I do with a mace. Is the is the two is the two hit the same or I have a plus one uh for a plus one to hit with short sword and a plus two to hit with mace. But I have a minus one damage with me, so there's more coming. Mm. This is all that we found. It says, Ooh, very interesting. Ooh, I know what I can do about this. Yes. I can think about this. There's some suckers, so I'll take this. Yes, yes. <laughs> and he pays you exactly what the prices are there. Oh, why, why thank you. Well, the, the gold, any gold that you have f found there was definitely yours for going through the danger, but now you are basically selling these items to us. So, so here is, is your cash, and thank you for your, your, thank you for your patronage. Uh, thank you. Um, by, by chance, what kind of wares or things do you sell here? Well, we sell very strict trinkets and gems, and and uh, we don't really sell so much on weapons. We, although we do occasionally get some magic items. All right. Um, I might come back here with my associates, um, and we might do a bit of shopping with you. Ah, you, you are you are welcome to find. Because we also have some other things to sell upon our travels. Excellent. Well, we we will I will be excited to see your patronage. Have your patronage in the future. You should you should have asked if they have a staff of the Mag Magi. I, I figured next se next session will be a shopping episode, so, <laughs> so I'm like, we'll just come back later. Look, I have a I have a, a shop randomizer, so keep that in uh, mind. It, it, yeah, it was but it's like I I figured next session would be a majority of a shopping episode. <laughs> That's why I was Everybody like, just gold. shopping before adventures. <laughs> like, right. here's gold, guys. Is it seems to be getting later in the day. You're starting to get tired. It's around that time where you would feel like you all would be going to bed. Um, but it's kind of a little later in the evening. Um, Roderick, I'm assuming you go find the inn. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. uh, you see Jinjar at a table uh, with a pile of coinage in front of him. And you also Not see approvingly. you also see sitting on a stool with a uh, little cup, little cup, uh, on on the counter. And looks like he's drinking from it. His stool. You stool is on a stool. Stool's on a stool. You doing all right there, buddy? That's the the puff of the 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 spores. <laughs> I'm good. They got me some water. Well, I'm gonna be up in the room, sleep. Okay. I'm gonna go to bed. So I'll follow you. All right. And jumps off the stool and follows you. Hey, and uh, he takes he, he before he jumps off. He says, uh, "Can I take this to the room?" And or he motions the cup to to the bartender and. He, just kind of waves. And he has this. Uh, it's a. It's a dwarf. A dwarf. Dwarf. And for some reason, he's he's finding him rather adorable. 
Because who wouldn't? <laughs> and, and he just kind of, kind of waves and says goodbye. As you go, you go upstairs into your room, and everybody can take a rest without having to do a watch. And that's where we will end it for the evening. Um, it's almost the end of time. So, as you're going to your room, you probably hear some. Uh, oh yeah, Lassiter, um, uh, make me a Constitution saving throw. <laughs> Dirty little whore. Con. Oh, he uses you like a rag doll. <laughs> Roderick, so there probably... is noise coming from that room that <laughs> it, that Holly can hear it clear as day. Holly runs out with her battle axe in hand, ready to fight. <laughs> this and just sounds like it. Like this this sounds like a very different different D and D session. <laughs> oh, he just looks at her like no no no. It's just <laughs> I'm I'm gonna go see if I can room with Leaf. <laughs> he goes to Leaf's room and knocks on the door and sees if she can stay with Leaf. Leaf, do you accept uh, the uh, company of of Holly in your room? Gandalf. Yeah, Leaf? 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 Don't leave us. Da, da, da. Oh, well, that's something, but we'll assume, assume it's something. that he's that he accepts. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. There I'm, just I'm happens just that part. each of these rooms have two beds. <laughs> <laughs> and this is an extra measure. Sarah so goes as far as to dismiss Sova. So can't hear anything anymore. <laughs> yeah, she still can't hear. Uh, nope. Anyways, you could have the room right next to him, and it's at least for right now. Uh, oh. No. Out of principle, she does not want to be anywhere near it. She's like, nope. Knowing what's going to happen, because it's been it's been quite obvious to all of us by this time, they gonna fuck. Yeah. yeah. She just she snaps her fingers like Sova. So see you in the morning. Just snaps it. <laughs> disappears. Nope. No, you'll never know when somebody's trying to wake you up unless they break your door yeah. down. Because I'm assuming yeah, you probably that's... lock the door. That's the point. All right. With that, thank you for watching. Thank you, everybody, for, for attending. We will see you next week where we will find out more about the adventures in Grackelstug. Bye. Bye. We're all going to Bye. Die. <laughs> We're gonna